and verse 14. Therefore, hell and enlarging herself and hoping her mouth without measure. Casey, the pastor they make hell enlarging herself and hoping her mouth without treasure, without measure, man. Right? Because yo, hell is a condition, man. And the children of Israel are in hell. And because of the rusty pastor them not teaching right, the children of Israel are in hell. Right. And the Lord said, hell enlarging herself. Hell get broad. Hell said, woo! The children, me just did have the Hedomites and me have the heathen. Now the children of Israel, hell enlarging herself without measure. Read. And their glory and their multitude and their pomp and, the, and he that rejoices shall descend into it. You see? The glory, our glory, our multitude of people. God in a hell now. Because hell enlarging herself. Because the children of Israel been buffoonery club in the Christian church. And from them being in that buffoonery club a funeral club in the Christian church they have been from hell door front door to the back door to the side door and to the middle entrance then turn up in there and they do not know how to come back home but yo hell and enlarging herself for the children of Israel read more for that that's it this is Jeremiah 14 verse 14 then says then says then the Lord said unto me, The prophets prophesied lies in my name. I sent them not, neither have I commanded them, neither spake unto them. So the Lord said, The prophet prophesied lie in my name. Neither did I spoke to them, neither did I command them. The Lord never spoke to none of them. He never commanded none of them. But them come and them said, Thus says the Lord. The Lord never sent them. Man sent them because what? Man give them them certificate. Man give them them license. So them license for lie. Right? Them license for come and deceive. Because who? And the deceiver teach them. Said so the deceiver teach them. When they come out of the talk, man. Nothing but lies, man. Right? But yo, the heavenly father put the spirit of understanding and up. That's why we come out here and attack the way we attack. Right. Neither have I commanded them, neither spake unto them. They prophesy unto you a false vision and di divination and a thing of naught and the deceit of their heart. So you see, a thing of naught, deceit of their heart. These are the things, what they're doing. The Lord never said none of them come, but them ready to tell us that thus says the Lord. The Lord never sent none of these public pastors, T.D. Joel Austin, and all of them crippled teeth in Dallas. The Lord never sent them. And they have some big woman that talk about them a pastor. And I walk around a trampoline whole place with them look at Jezebel self. Right? The Lord never sent none of them neither. Because the Lord said, give me the book of um, Revelation chapter 2. And start at 20, man. Right? We do we do young man. This is Jeremiah chapter 5 and verse 2. And though they say the Lord liveth, surely they swear falsely. O Lord, art thou art not thine eyes upon the truth? The Lord eyes upon the truth, man. But the falsely one they will swear falsely. How long you think you're going to get away with what you're get away with, man? The Lord give you a rope. And the rope what the Lord give you. He might give you the rope to hang yourself. Read on. But, but they have not... See that here. Oh Lord, art not thine eyes upon the truth. Thou hast stricken them, but they have not grieved. Thou hast consumed them, but they have not... But they have refused to receive consent. Correction. You see, they refuse to receive correction. The Lord stricken them. The Lord consume them. The Lord kill them. Right? And then one of the ones spring up. Right? Because what? They don't take no heed. Right? 
That's it. They have made their face harder than a rock. They have refused to return. They make their face hard as a rock, man. They refuse to come back to the way of the Lord, man. Right? But yo, we go make our ways as the Lord wills. That's right. We gonna do thus says the Lord. We not come out here to do, come here and blast in the word of the Heavenly Father. No. If I say it I go, go it not gonna work for us. Because we know the power of the Heavenly Father that we serve, man. Right? right? right. Revelation 2 and start at 20. This is 1 Peter 5 verse 2. Feed the flock of Yahweh. When the Lord said, feed the flock of Yahweh. Feed the flock of the Heavenly Father, man. So we come out here to feed Israel with the true word of the Heavenly Father. We come out here with sound doctrine, which we know sound doctrine is the truth. So we come out here to feed the flock of the Father, man. Are you the flock? Are you the flock? Come here, come here. How would that one? Which is among you. Which is among? Which is among you. We come to feed the flock, man. Which is among us, man. Right? Read. Taking the oversight thereof. Not by constraint. So the Lord said, taking the oversight thereof. Not by constraint. So we're not going to hold a guy and strangle him. Listen to the word of the Lord, boy. No, we don't depend on that. We have made the word of the Lord deal with that. Read. But willingly. But what? But willingly. Willingly you have to come. Hey, where you from, man? Where am I from? Your yeah, background. Oh, background, come in. Come in, man. Come. come. Benjamin. You know you're Benjamin? Yeah, all right, all right. You hear about the Israelites? Yeah, of course I hear about the Israelites. So, yeah. are you following what the Lord said we should do? I, 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 I'm very confused. You're confused? With, with, with what the Lord is saying from what the what is going on. Okay, sir. From what I research, I know that Christianity or what the word of the God is coming from is not from the pagan man is teaching us now. Come from Africa before and now they have started the word and confused everybody with the word uh, of, of what they are preaching to us. So when I hear proper people like myself trying to give only two word of the Lord, our Creator, then I am very glad to hear. I want to be the Church of God. I wish not to be a part of these churches that are not teaching you the right way of the Lord. Uh, they are not telling you even where the scriptures of the King James, the first blessing of the I'll commission this Bible to one of the closest versions of the scriptures that you're supposed to read from. But you know the Vatican is trying to get rid of the King James Version because it was commissioned by the Black King of England who, when he was the Black King, and they asked him to be the King of England, they told him, okay, you must be a Christian. He said, no, I don't want to be a Christian. Like you, because what you is rough. Brother, give him a hand, man. Give him a hand. Give him a hand. Hey, you see the spirit and the heavenly father. Hey, bring out um man going up. The, give me the book of Proverbs chapter 5, verse 20, 21. Right? Proverbs 5, 21. And give me Proverbs chapter 20, verse 24. Right? Because, Uncle, what you just said. The Lord give you that revelation, man. Yes. To come over here so to your brothers and you know, come congregate with us. Right? Read that. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 5 and verse 21. For the ways of man are before the eyes of. Read that. For the ways of man are before the eyes of the Lord, and he pondereth all his going. Right, so the, Lord, the ways of man are before the Lord and he pondering all our going. So you see, he was over there by the post office and you are dealing with the phone and you hear the words of the Heavenly Father. So I've, I've heard you out here before. Right. I've here now and I've seen you out here. Excuse me, what Bible are you? King James, where you're just 
thing. Right, they right. will block things up, it's very terrible. That we should be missing something. That's how much black people was ruling here, dress better. Them say we're not on an etiquette, we're not on a right. style, we're not on a nothing. Right, and we right. was the one to right. dress in the right, proper right. way, the diamonds and the witches of what our country had. That's yes. right. And they move us out and tell us this is here and teach us nothing about what we are teaching. So well done. To Adam. To Adam, man. Keep Thank you up. very much, sir. Try to show the youth then. When you hear the proper word, listen to the proper word. Right. Don't go giant singing company and band and playing <laughs> tights and all them things. That right. And you don't even know. They don't even teach you. Right. The real, because they're frightened. Right. Yeah, they don't want to teach you because... Now, you know why? Let me show you what happened, uncle. You see, basically, in order to be a pastor in this society, you have to get a license. Now, who give these people license? If you're going to get, if you're going to become a driver, you need a license. You go to the examiner, and then watch how you drive, and then give you a license. Now, who is these people who's handing the license to the pastor? You see me evil, evil people. They give you a license to people. I always see it in within their life. Right, right, right. Because then we do your life. Right. And them want to right. see right. when they take for your life. Right. Yeah. That's why we don't love the people and come out of the Christian church. Because the Christian church is nothing but a drug song to the people. Because when them go in there, they're not keeping the laws of our Father. The Father gives us laws, statutes, and commandments. What we should do so we can avoid punishment. If we don't do these things, we are going to get punishment. And this is all what we done unto us. We keep getting punished after punished after punished after punished. Yeah. After punished. Because we're not doing the right thing. We don't find out that we do things with the right way. Right. The New Testament church now is one of the biggest black churches. Right. But the New Testament church, when you go to look at the board of control, it's in America. The board of control is controlled by about seven men. In the seven men, there is only one black man. Right? And I hear that the black man preach up in uh, uh, up in the uh, up in West Midlands, and he said that he had a he had a uh, private talking to people who wanted to come and talk. When he came to talk, he told a story about how they wanted to get him off the board. And one black man to get him off the board, right. yeah, and they, they fight against him. Because so, now for the protocol. Because now for the protocol and you want to teach the right way. Right. 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 So please do what we're doing, but we have to get him into the young people. Right. Right. Yeah. So we have some young people out there, man. Young people, like to people to them. this is the right way. Yeah. Right. Don't follow the game. Get your money, this and that, it does not work. Right, it does not work. Right. Find, find your own way, yeah, because you see when you're going to the heaven, if you're going to where we're going to go, God, now go look for how much time you pay, how much people you preach to, God is looking at your heart and right. what you want to find. Right. First, I mean, so keep it going. Yeah, man, two hours. And now, and now. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Let's go. Right. Yeah, man. You see the elder come over and the elder, yo, the elder come give me some encouragement, man. Right? Uh, and this right. is good. Right? Because, yo, when you look around and you feel like say, nobody now listen to the word of the heavenly father. The heavenly father said, prophesy to the wind, man. Right? Ezekiel 37, verse 9. David the Father said prophesy to the wind. Right? This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37, and verse 9. Then said he unto me, prophesy unto the wind. You see that? We are prophesying unto the wind, and the wind are carrying. And people are listening to it because we have silent listening. Up. And them listening, them still say, what? Well, yo. You know him I bring out the preach, me never hear that priest said that. Right. I Bible him I read. Right. Yes, we are reading the King James Version. And we don't get no license from them people if you tell lies. God. We get license from them and the father if you tell truth. God. So the truth right. don't tell it, man. The truth said to free, so we come to bring out the truth. Read. Prophesy, son of man, and say and, and say to the wind, thus say the Lord God. We are said to the wind, don't say yeah, but she may shy. Because yo, that's all we have the truth. The same to the wind. 
so the Lord can listen to the wind. Because the wind will bring back the words to the Lord. I said, yes, them working the Lord. It was okay. Good servant! <laughs> oh, yeah, what do you say, yeah? Yeah, man, because yo. Okay. This is Acts 7, verse 48. How be it? The Most High dwelleth not in the temple's name. Shalom, shalom. Who people about we have left right? We say, who the finish Babylon? We have a flat dono. Right? Because we have a flat dono in the word of Lord. That's right. Right? Because yo, who people about we have. We have silent listener, right? Right? And listen, wanna keep listening. <laughs> Acts 7 verse 48. How be it the most high dwelling not in temples made with hands? Right, the Lord not dwell in a temple where made it hands. The Lord dwell in them temple, yeah. Right, see temple, yeah. Where the Lord right. dwell in them. That's right. We don't have to go into the church. I thought about say, hell, I'm going to find sweet Jesus. <laughs> listen, man. This is a temple where the Lord dwell now. The Lord dwell now we the children of Israel. So get to the house in order. Get to the fight right with the Heavenly Father. That's it. 66. Here 66. Isaiah 66. I thought that one man. Because the Lord said not dwell in a temple, but make with hand. And we are going to show you where the Lord dwell, man. Give me um Luke 17, 21. Right? Isaiah, Luke 17, 21, and well, um, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Isaiah 66, verse 1. Verse 1, thus says the Lord, the heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. The heaven and the Father throne. The Father living in the third heaven, right? And that's why you look here and of space. The Lord live up the man. That's right. Oh, freedom. That's right. Where? That's why all the rocket come back now. <laughs> <laughs> Where is the house that he built unto me? First Corinthians 3 and 16. Where? The Lord said, Where is the house? What will the be Lord doing? You look here and build the house to the Lord. I've done building the house already. Oh, we are house I lad. Right. So the build building now and talk about the Lord in there. I devil in there with the Roman. The Lord not in that building called church. We are the church. When you read the book of Acts, chapter 7, verse 30, get Acts chapter 7, verse 38. That's it, that. That's it, that. Yeah. Acts chapter 7, verse 38. Read one of the it's the book of Luke, chapter 18. 17. This is the book of Luke, chapter 17, and verse 21. Right. Neither shall they say, Lo here, or Lo there. Uh -huh. For behold, the kingdom of Yahweh is within you. Where's the kingdom of the Father? The kingdom of Yahweh is within you. The kingdom of the Heavenly Father is within us. So they're going to church, man. That's right. The church is all rust the building. We're rotten down, and sometimes it's rotten down. The Lord shake them down, right? right? Make sure you clean up your act and come right. to the scripture, and the Lord will come and, you know, be with you, man, and live in a way, and stay amongst us. Read on. That's it, Allah. Give me, um... Act 7. Yeah, read on. Act 7, verse 38. First Corinthians 3, 16. This is me. This is he that was in the church in the wilderness with the angel which spoke to him in the Mount who, who was in the church? With the angel. So we was in the wilderness. Who was in the wilderness? It was the children of Israel and Moses. That's right. And we are in church. That's right. Right? Never come tell about building another church, man. Put a lot of comfort and that's why we go cock up in our church. I make people feel grown up and do what they want to do with the Lord. We come out that work and everybody can see it. The Lord say your eyes shall see thy teacher. Right? That's the time that came. First Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. Uh -huh. Now he not that he 
are the temple of Yahweh. Who are the temple of Yahweh? No, he not that he are, are the temple of Yahweh. No, the building is the temple. No, he not that he are the temple of Yahweh. And we are the temple of God, man. Right? And read. And not the spirit of Yahweh dwelleth in you. Where it dwell? And not the spirit of Yahweh dwelleth in you. And not the spirit of Yahweh dwelleth in you. And we in the heavenly Father dwell in a man. Right? Hold on. We are. First Corinthians 6 verse 3 Meat for the belly Slakia verse 13 Meat for the belly uh -huh. And the belly for meat uh -huh. But Yahweh shall destroy both it and them You see? The Lord shall destroy it and them All meat, all belly Read! No, the body is not for fornication. Wait, sir. No, no the, the body, body is not for fornication. The body is not for fornication. We don't fit upon the straight line where the Lord gave unto us. Read. But for the Lord. But for the Lord. But for the Lord. It's for the Lord, man. Carry on, King. And, and the Lord, Lord for, for the body. body. And the Lord for the body, man. Look at that beautiful precept, man. Right? Read where you have, King. Get me the book of Amos. Chapter 7 and start at um what verse 7. Start give us 6 and 19. Give us chapter 7 and start at 6 and 19. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amos, First Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 19. Yeah. But know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost? Wait, sir. Know ye not that your body is of the temple of the Holy Ghost? Your body is of the temple of the Holy Ghost, man. Right. right. Read. Which is in you. Which ye are, which ye have of Yahweh. You see, your body are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Your body at the temple where the spirit living in at, right? Not that the church, man. So the children of Israel leave the church and come and gather together. You know the Lord near, man, right? That's it. Which are of Yahweh, and ye are not of, not your own. Which of the heavenly Father, and we are not of our own, man, right? Give me the book of um, Genesis chapter 49, start that one. Like a close one. Read there. This is Amos 7, verse 7. Thus he showed me, and behold, the Lord stood up on a wall made by a plumb line, with a plumb line in his hand. So, yo, the Lord has shown Amos. He stood up on a wall with a plumb line. You know what's a plumb line? That's one of them things. Straight, straight. Uh, right. 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 So the line from is straight. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Right? So that's it for me. The Lord has yeah, said, the Lord has yeah. said, yo, he give you a straight line for walk, yeah. man. Oh, Read. Right. That's right. Verse 8. And the Lord said unto me, hey, unto me, unto me Amos, what seest thou? And I said, a plumb line. Then said the Lord, behold, I said, I will set a plumb line in, in the midst of my people, Israel. You see? The Lord said, Him put a plumb line in the midst of it. So if we walk straight, that's right. We can walk lean. We have to make sure so we're up on the straight line. Keep him last statue of commandment. That's, that's right. right. If you want life, that's right. If you want death, that's come on, find plumb line. That's right. You have to see death. Right. No, we I say I'm part of the No, Genesis. No, Genesis, man. Slack here. Genesis, man. Gather yourself together. That's the time. Read, read, read. Genesis, chapter 49, verse 1. And Jacob called on his sons and said, Gather yourselves together. What the Lord said? Gather yourselves together. And that's why we have gathered ourselves together right now, because the Lord, this is a commandment from the Lord. The Lord said, Gather yourselves together. Whether you come from Jamaica, whether you come from Barbados, 
whether you come from St. Lucia, whether you come from Trinidad, gather yourself together, right? And we are Israelites. That's right. Whether you are black British, we don't talk about the ugly red one then. I'm talking about the so-called black British. You are Israelite, and I'm not talking Hamite. If you are Hamite, you're not welcome. That's right. right. Read that again when the Lord says. Genesis chapter 49 and verse 1. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together. And we are Jacob's sons. And we are gathered together. And we are Benjamites. That's right. And when the Benjamites them come, you hear we loud. We are speaking about a problem. So we are using one voice. Right. And we are projecting. Right? We are gathered ourselves together. Read. That yes, I may tell you. you. That we shall be for you in the last days. And we have to come together so the Heavenly Father can reveal what's going to happen in our last years because we are living in the last years. That's right. And we are going to wreck Babylon. Right? Don't set the Bible. Don't set the Lord. That's it. Gather yourselves together. Verse 2. Gather yourselves together. Right, sir. Gather yourselves together. Right, sir. Gather yourselves together. Read. And hear ye, sons of Jacob. And hear you, sons and daughters of Jacob. Let's come together, man. Let's come together and praise Yahweh Hashem, Yahushai. And hearken unto Israel, your father. And hearken unto who? And hearken unto Israel, your father. Make we listen to a grandfather and come back to his commandment. That's right. Make we go praise the Abba Shimei Hashai again with all our heart and all our mind. That's right. We now left back nothing. That's right. And that's it. And we are going to close out. Now we say what? Come around, man. Come around. We come stand up in our mind. Right. I want to say what? Come round man, we stand up in the mic and we shout in a one big shout man Cause we come to tear them pens man Right? I want to say what? Rock a tire, how a? Rock a tire,